Right, I guess uh, finally we get to the video everyone's been waiting for. Um, we've got enough components in our system now to do a, a full system boot. Uh, we need to do a few minor alterations to the serial card first. Um, the EEPROM address um, I've changed to F800. Uh, you can see all these ones are set to 1 now. Uh, we've also enabled jump start uh, to cause the jump to F800 and get it to boot. And also enab uh, enabled um, Phantom Disable with Switch 8. Because obviously we've got RAM at zero now, and the jump start circuit will need to disable that in order to, to cause the jump. Um, there shouldn't be any other settings. We've previously set the jump start to F800 anyway, and we've got Martin's Amon ROM back in here as well. Uh, the FDC card is basically as, as we left it. Uh, all I've done is I've, I've set uh, the A11 line on the RAM to a zero, so the RAM now starts from zero rather than 800. Right, so we should be ready to go. So we'll go back to the bench and uh, hopefully boot Amon. Uh, then, with any luck, if that is that successful, we'll try and boot CPM. Right, then we're all set up. Here's our alt here. All four boards of it now. Put it around the side there. There we go. Right, we've got a serial cable. It's coming off the serial card. That's coming round. That's going into the laptop. Right, let's just get the camera in front of the uh, laptop. Right, here we go then. We'll power it up and we'll see what happens. Right, there we go. Um, Amon's powered up. Uh, let's just do a simple dump of uh, bottom 2k of memory. Right, there you go. Obviously completely random because it's just RAM and we've just switched it on. Right, what we'll do is, we'll, let, let's, let's test the RAM with a uh, alternating bit pattern. Right, so I'll fill with 5.5. Five and I'm going to go from 0 to 7F right, there we go, that should have filled it up let's display the RAM again right there we go I'm seeing lots of 55's now and that pattern should go all the way to the end hopefully at least that's the plan <laughs> right that seems to be fine Right now, let's um, fill it with AA now. There we go. Display it again. Right, and there we go. Lots of A's. Let it get to the end. Right, so that looks like all the RAM's working fine. Obviously, what you can do is sort of work your way through the, the, the RAM using that, that method and, and check it all out. Obviously, I won't do it now because we'll be here for ages. Um, but that, that's, that'd be a good test for the RAM because literally you're, you're swapping your, your bits. You know, you're going from 1010 to 0101. So that will tell you if you've got any stuck bits. You know, you'll obviously notice a, an abnormal pattern as you, you display it out. Right, that seems to be working. So what I'll do, I'll set everything up and then we'll uh, attempt to try and boot CPM. Right, I think we're ready to go now. We've got two connections to the Altair. We've got this one here, which is going to the serial floppy disk server. And this one here, which is going to the terminal, as we had before. Right, first thing we need to do is go over here. Right, this is Mike's serial floppy disk server that's going to give us the disk image so what I have to do first is load up the uh, appropriate image and I'll click load and we'll pick 48k CPM right. that's all ready to go now and we'll go to the smaller laptop over here with the terminal on it just cover that up get rid of any shadows right here we go right I'll boot the system up There we go, that's the Amon prompt. 
Um, now to, to boot a floppy disk we type B0 that will jump to the floppy disk loader. And there we go, CPM. Uh, directory. There we go. Right, let's try loading basic. It takes a little while. Right, there we go. Load a little program up. loading the program. Okay, program's loaded. The list. There we go, the program. Try running it. This is all the noughts and crosses game which you don't seem to be able to win <laughs> as far as I can tell. <laughs> all right. There we go. Where should we go now then? Let's go to. Oh, <laughs> that didn't work, did it? <laughs> right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so that's that anyway. So that works. Uh, we can go back to CPM. Oops. Run something uh, like I don't know, let's try DDT. <coughs> okay, let's display a bit of memory. Okay, see the digital research. There we go there. Oops. There we go. A bit more memory. Uh, let's get out of there. And one other way we can get into it as well. I'll just just demonstrate. I'll just uh, power it out from cold again. at the aim on prompt you can actually um, do a direct execution into the uh, disk boot rom now if you type ex ff00 that's the address of the disk uh, boot rom hit return there you go so we're back in cpm again so there we go so we Got a fully working system. Um, I guess somebody's asking, well, how did you boot it without any sense switches? Um, it, it turns out that um, CPM is actually um, uh, designed to uh, um, actually work with the, the two SIO card, and it, it won't work with anything else. So, <laughs> it, yeah, we've been lucky here that we've got a two SIO card. Um, so obviously if you want to run CPM you definitely need a 2SIO card otherwise you're going to have a little bit of programming on your hands so that, that'll do it for this one and I shall um, see you next time <laughs>